hello dear friends myself sunil sonigra about assembly and detail drawing of an object now before starting the discussion of today's discussion i would like to give you one example which represents the importance of this chapter suppose as we know the first topic we will cover in today's discussion that is introduction detail drawing assembly drawing assembly section and dimension now in introduction let me discuss one example suppose company a wish to give some information to company b then how will they convey their message so for that as we know drawing is the language of engineer so with the help of drawing one company can convey her message to another company so for example company a needs to have the assembly of ic engine say internal combustion engine so how that company will convey her message to the another company so for that they need to have the drawings of piston connecting rod crankshaft cylinder push rod and all the components which are used to make an ic engine but after uh, drawing all these components details after that it's needed to convey how all these components are to be assembled together so for that the company needs to prepare two types of drawings one is the detail drawing details of each components say crank connecting rod and all the parts and after that it's it's needed to draw the drawing of assembly of the ic engine once all the components are assembled how it will appear that needs to be drawn and hence at that time the concept of detail drawing and assembly drawings comes into picture and hence we have to study this chapter in detail so for that let me introduce our session what is definition of assembly drawing and working drawing for definition of working drawing is a set it's a set of drawing used drawing during the work of making a project or product there is a difference between designed drawing and working drawing in designed drawing only dimensions are inserted in the drawing but in working drawing the set of dimensions and how that component to be manufactured that also is to be included now in working drawing there are two types of working drawing one is detail drawing and another is assembly drawing in a detail drawing the details of the component which includes the dimensions the method of manufacturing the tolerances and many other details are written on the drawing and they are mentioned at appropriate place but in case of assembly drawing it's not needed to insert all the dimensions of the component but only it represent the relative position of various components with each other and the dimensions may be included if needed in in some special cases now definition of detail drawing detail drawing is a multi view representation of a single part with dimensions and knots as we have discussed and assembly drawing is a drawing of various parts of a machine or a structure assembled in their relative working position so there this is the main difference between these two drawings assembly drawing shows the relative position of some components with the other components whereas detail drawings covers the dimensions and many other details related to the component now what's the purpose of such kind of drawing detail drawing conveys the information and instructions to manufacturing to manufacture the part whereas assembly drawings conveys first the completed shape of the product after assembling the components second the overall dimensions 
of the assembled part third the relative position of each part and functional requirement and functional relationship among various components how they should be placed it is to be expressed in assembly drawing now first example and this example shows how to assemble a part assembly steps suppose here three components are given to us the one is the clevis made up of steel and quantity is one second component is arm this is arm made up of steel quantity one and third is the pin this is a pin made up of steel and one is required so these three drawings are called as the detailed drawing if the all those dimensions are inserted in these components say dimension of this diameter length width height thickness and all these dimensions are inserted then it is called as the detailed drawing now in this case how to make assembly drawing so for that let we take one component this one say clevis so whenever you have to solve the problems related to details in assembly drawing first you think about the biggest component of given details in these three cases this is the biggest component so consider this biggest component over here now the second step is pick up any one component so we pick up this component right think about the dimension you can see here this dimension and this dimension are nearly equal some gap is there this dimension is little bit bigger than this thickness and second thing this hole here a hole is drilled of certain diameter and the same hole is drilled over here it means that this hole and these two holes should be coincide with each other so for that let we move this component over here so these two components are assembled right now clevis and arm now think about third component that is pin now with the help of just a common sense you can think where this piece or this pin should be inserted this the diameter is equal to the diameter of the pin or the diameter of pin would be a little bit smaller than this hole so that it can be easily inserted now let me pick up this component that is pin rotate it to insert this pin inside this hole insert this pin like this it is inserted over here now this is the assembly drawing of these three components here it's not needed to insert the dimension this assembly drawing represents the position of each component uh, with respect to the other component and two views may be drawn for this case so this is just a simple example of the assembly steps the center line center line represents the axis of this pin as well as axis of the holes drilled over here and drilled in arm and i hope this concept is clear to you now about detailed drawing what's the detailed drawing now information in detailed drawing <coughs> the first is <coughs> general information that is title block the title block includes very long details that we discuss in subsequent discussion the second is parts information is included in detailed drawings third is in in parts information the first is shape description which is the shape of the part then second is size description the objects view it's a shape in size it is represented in a detailed drawing and third is the specifications or notes related to the methods of manufacturing the component and which are the specifications used in the drawing is to be mentioned in the parts information in detailed drawing now in general information the name of 
company these all components or are to be inserted in the title block the first thing which is mentioned in the title block is this name of the company then second is title of the drawing usually it's a name of part then drawing sheet number or number of the drawing uh, as per the company record then name of the drafter and checker who has drafted the drawing who has checked the drawing their signature also are to be mentioned on the drawing then relevant dates of action from which date they are to be come into action that is drawn checked and approved etc respective dates are to be inserted in the title block then revision table on which date the drawings are revised it may not not be revised or may be revised then units which units are used then scale either it is reduced scale or enlarged scale or 1 is to 1 scale and method of projection these three are very important method of projection scale and unit because if you not you not represent all these three things it may mislead to the viewer now parts information that is shape it is represented by orthographic drawing or pictorial drawing but in generally orthographic drawing are widely used in engineering practice the size dimensions and tolerances are to be inserted and specifications part number name numbers required means how many numbers or quantity is there it is to be mentioned type of material used which material is used say cast iron mild steel copper zinc brass bronze aluminum or any alloy that is to be mentioned in specifications general notes which are there and heat treatment processes annealing or normalizing tempering etc are the heat treatment process they also may be inserted in the specifications and surface finish in terms of micron so 10 micron or uh, in older drawings n1 to n12 uh, names or specifications are mentioned n1 means it's a very super finishing n2 means some roughness increases n3 n4 n5 up to n12 and n12 means it's a roughest one and in the previous drawings or older drawings number of triangles are drawn one triangle two triangle or four triangle if one triangle is there it's a rough surface and four triangles are there it's a very smooth surface <coughs> and general tolerances which are the tolerances used in the drawing that to be mentioned in the specification now recommended practice which practice should be adopted draw one part to one sheet of paper this is general practice in one sheet of paper all number of parts should not be drawn as far as possible then if not the case apply enough spacing between the parts suppose the parts are too small then it's not needed to use one sheet for one part say for example drawing of pin drawing of key drawing of nuts and bolts in all those case it's not needed to use one sheet for one part but in that case you should apply enough spacing between the parts draw all parts using the same scale this is also very important all the parts which are drawn on one sheet they should be used with the similar scale and scale should not be changed intermediately otherwise the scale should be clearly noted under each parts drawing it should be highlighted below each part but it should be avoided as far as possible then standard parts such as bolts nut pin bearing do not require detailed drawings just you mention its specification for example in case of bolt m64 for example m64 that is enough or m32 or m40 it means that it's a metric bolt 
having diameter 64, 32, 16, etc. So at that time no need to insert all the dimensions because it's a standard part. Now placing information on the drawing sheet. How to place the information? So in this place, complete dimension orthographic drawing should be drawn. Here the method of projection symbol is, is used. In some cases this symbol is drawn in the title block. Here below where place is provided. Here part number, part name, material, numbers required are to be mentioned and nodes like units, fillets and rounds, sizes etc are to be represented. Now example for interpreting the detailed drawing. This is the example which shows the interpretation of detailed drawing. Here assembly drawing is drawn. This is an assembly drawing of this component. The dimensions are inserted over here. This symbol represents the parallelism and flatness of this third place. And here unit is not mentioned. <coughs> this is the drawing name of company. This is taken for Nordale Machines Company. This is the orthographic views of the component. Dimensions and tolerances are to be inserted in these orthographic views. Surface finishing symbol. This is the symbol used to represent the surface finish. It is to be represented like this. General notes are written over here. This is the title block. Revision table is to be inserted over here as shown over here. Revision, revision table shows on which date which kind of revision is made in this drawing that is to be represented in this case and general tolerances are written over here. Here statement is written that unless otherwise specified tolerances are plus or minus 0 0.02. So everywhere it is not needed to represent the tolerances we have to consider this